first of all, let, let's even take it back to COVID. I don't think a lot of people knew. If people didn't, first of all, if you are alive today, you saw the outcome of COVID. Mm-hmm. You saw what COVID did to people. People became very, very resor- resourceful during uh, COVID. People sold things that they didn't even know they can make money off of. Who knew? Who knew that a whole pandemic, toilet paper and hand sanitizer, cleaning products, and everything would run out? Mm-hmm. There was people that were selling the stuff that were in their house. Yeah, because you couldn't find it at the store. Because they couldn't find it at the store. <laughs> yeah, People were going to stores First of all, who I didn't even know that Home Depot sold toilet paper. Yeah, Home Depot. I didn't know everything. Lowe's and all the. I didn't know they sold like and in bulk, mm-hmm. in bulk, water, like, Sam size, water. Exactly. You don't think of those places, but Amazon too. Amazon was like, "Oh, y'all trying to buy this? What's well, usually three dollars? We're gonna sell it for nine. They racked up. What, they, what are you talking about? And so people was like, "Well, wouldn't that be kind of like messed up?" To no, when people are desperate, they will pay. Supply and demand. People are desperate. They will pay yep. triple the price. That's you know? why you have to understand what you what problem you solve for people. If you know that you solve a problem, then you're not going to flinch on charging what you charge. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I charge 165 for makeup. And people are like, what? Such and such do it for 100 Okay, go to such and such. such and I such, you know have, people that pay 200 for makeup. People pay 200 for makeup. Yes. And that's coming next, FYI, if y'all, because I'm about to... But... <laughs> <laughs> bridal makeup. Bri- that's oh, too Bridal fees are totally different. Trust, bridal fees bridal- are totally that, different. Well, it was, then, I, re- I think bridal makeup in the past was like, hundred. It was like hundred fifty. hundred fifty, yeah, like yeah. something like that. Yeah. yeah. If y'all got married in twenty fifteen, and you have to do a consultation, you too. have to do a consultation. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. My bridal fees are nowhere near the normal. Hey day man, I'm bridal. Are different you can marry. Of beast. Oh okay. Yeah, brides are a different type of beast. But I, I price based off of value, not based off of what everybody else is charging. Mm. I gotta come to you. That's wear and tear on my car, and I have to service you. That's wear and tear on my body. Y'all know I go to a chiropractor. Listen. Because I'm bent over all the time. Listen. So now you have to pay for my chiropractor services, okay? L- l- listen, listen. My sister's a chiropractor. That's why she's over there nodding her Amen. head. Amen! Like, <laughs> nodding, nodding her head. But no, like, for real, for real, though, like, I don't think people understand, like, when you solve a problem, mm-hmm. people going to pay. They're going to pay. People are going to and pay. And those that don't pay, they don't see your value. And those are <sighs> not your people. And that is okay. I've been telling my uh, my uh, friends, like, don't ever skimp out on your prices. Mm-mm, you can't, do you cannot pocket check somebody else. No. You don't you know cannot, what they got. No, no. Don't it, base your prices off of what you think they can afford. No, they can afford it. Well, at this time, I cannot afford this. It's really, and that, you know, I, I mean, I've told people, like, uh, you know, I can afford that right now. And that's fine. And that is okay. Maybe my, one day I will. Yeah, my feeling's not going to be hurt. No. I understand. It's okay. And I'm also not going to come back and be like, okay, I do a, f- no, no. I, I'm also a consumer. That's what I kind of look at it yes. as. Like, I'm also a consumer. The business owners are consumers as well. So you just think about the way that you buy and you be that type of business that you want to buy from. Yo, if people would understand that concept, we would not make things so personal all the time. No, we would not make not. some things so personal. Like, I was like, yeah, I mean, people could, I remember, so it's so funny. COVID, that was the best year for SRC Kitchen. It was the best year for that my makeup the, business took off. Where and were I'm, people going? That's what I was trying to figure out. Where, like, we couldn't go nowhere. Where were they going? They were taking pictures. They were doing photo shoots. Oh. They were having uh, in-home date nights. They were... Wow. All of my clients live in the suburbs. And so it was like these moms that were also business owners that needed to do photos. They had time now to do all the stuff that they didn't have when the world was moving very quickly. Now they got time to settle and do stuff. I need my makeup done. Girl, I was booked three times a day during COVID. I was running all day during COVID. I'm like, this is crazy. Well, that's so interesting because, you know, you would think that in COVID, you would, the essentials is food and water. Right now. So that, for me, I was just like... Not like, these rich ladies in Pearland and hey, Rochelle. And it was like, girl, I'm going to go on stay a home, with my husband. Stay yeah. home. They was hiring chefs to come cook for them and they wanted their makeup done because they was also doing a photo shoot while they had anniversary dinners, birthday dinners, all that. Oh, we having a party wow. at home. I want my makeup done. Yeah. That was literally my best year was 2020. Mm-hmm. My best year. And I was like, because my even my husband was like, I mean, people in the house, they hungry. Like, there's nothing else to do but eat. And I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. Like, I didn't, I don't think I realized how much of a problem, like a solution I was yeah. giving. Like, I literally was solving problems. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wow. And people were like, well, and then people said they were gaining a lot of weight in, mm-hmm. uh, during COVID as well. So now you got your meal preps going yes. on. Then like, um, 
I believe like a few of the athletes, like I think I had one athlete that was like, they couldn't, they couldn't play. Mm. They couldn't go to the arenas, mm-hmm. you know, they couldn't go for practice. And so they had to like do practice, like I think in like closed areas. I can't remember, but like, he was like, I got to stay fit. Yeah. Uh, meal preps. Now I'm like, okay, I got to go to, now I got to go to his house and I got to cook and make sure um, he's um, eating right and things like that. Cause there's, there's still an expectation mm-hmm. that they are healthy when they do open the, um, the doors for a uh, practice. Yep. So I'm just like, wow, this is okay. I didn't realize all these things. So I'm literally taking notes throughout COVID. Like now that I even think about it, I could have probably made more money. Mm-hmm. I probably could have made more money. It's just the fact that like in the moment, you're not realizing you're solving mm-hmm. You're not realizing. That's why. I, that's why I tell people all the time. Anybody can coach. Yeah. You just, just solve the problem. Stop the problem.